Hi everyone, Nick with Able Cine First Look here, and today we get to have a look at a new light panel LED light, the Gemini. The Gemini is a 2x1 LED style panel, uh, similar in design to like a tungsten soft light, uh, though because we're using LED technology, we get the benefit of full CCT style color temperature correction, making the light bicolor, but adjustable within the full range of about 2700 Kelvin all the way up to 6000 Kelvin and anywhere in between. Uh, because we're using RGB LEDs though, we also get the second mode of HSI or hue, saturation, and intensity adjustment, allowing us to really create kind of whatever color that we want using this light. Uh, and, and an excellent feature that kind of harkens back to the old way of doing things with lights, we have a digital gelling engine that allows us to emulate actual physical gels, both for beauty looks and also to make the light a little easier to match against uh, legacy instruments like HMIs that might actually be using physical color correction. In addition to that, this light uses a flicker-free ballast. Uh, light panels claims that at any frame rate or shutter angle, you should never have to worry about flickering or strobing, uh, which is a huge benefit for slow motion workflows. Uh, there's no ballast required, as that's integrated into the lamp head, so we don't have to worry about lugging around extra equipment uh, or carrying around a heavy extra piece of electronics that we have to protect from weather and rain. Uh, just your standard cable that'll end in a, an Edison plug, so you can plug into normal house power or, uh, or with the um, three-pin XLR port on the back uh, to a 28-volt battery. Uh, you get your standard yoke junior pin configuration, meaning that this light is going to work very well with any of your normal grip pieces of equipment. Uh, and because it's actually fairly lightweight, only clocking in at about 20 pounds or so, it's going to be pretty easy to rig. Uh, it has a number of extra great quality of life features, including some wireless control options using both a wireless Bluetooth adapter or wireless DMX. Uh, it's capable of being used with normal DMX setups as well. Uh, in addition to being able to be set up in kind of a master-slave configuration where one light is copying its settings and controls over to a host of others through the appropriate cables. Uh, it has a very rugged aluminum construction, so this is definitely very set and location worthy. Uh, and it has a number of really excellent user adjustable presets uh, and a very intuitive menu that will take a little bit of a closer look. One of the things that's really great about this light is its intuitive menu system that allows you to switch easily between the different modes. Simply by pressing your uh, hue and uh, plus minus green color correction switch here, you can change over from being in your color correction mode uh, over into your hue saturation or uh, gel mode, depending on what it is that you're trying to do. Uh, so within that, uh, once you switch the menus, you'll be able to get access to all of the controls here on the knobs based on the mode that you're using. Uh, so, for instance, here in the HSI mode, that's going to change this main menu button to our hue setting, and our color correction mode is going to be saturation and then intensity. We change it over to our CCT mode, you see that the context changes what those buttons do. So now I'm doing any kind of plus minus green uh, to offset uh, or match any lights that I need to do there, as well as changing my color temperature and then adjusting my actual uh, intensity or my dimming switch uh, with the final selector here. Now, of course, with so many settings to adjust, uh, it can get easy to get out of hand. So light panels have given us a really clever setup with the preset buttons. With this AB switch, we can change the track that uh, is adjusting what here. So if we have the B selected, you can see we've got uh, kind of manufacturer default color temperatures. So we can go into tungsten, uh, or we can go to daylight, or a couple of kind of common uh, ballpark ranges that you might need to be in your in-betweeners. Uh, but other than that, if we switch over to A, we have our own user definable presets. So if we have a particular gel that we like to get, uh, we can grab that here and queue it up. Or if we have other uh, settings that we want to call up as a memory, we can do that as well here, uh, which makes it very easy to use. Once you've found settings that you like, saving them to the preset is as simple as holding down the button until you get confirmation that everything is saved. So overall, I think that the light panel's Gemini is actually a really excellent light and very compelling and exciting to see. Uh, so in addition to being able to be used as a normal sort of soft light like this, it will have its full complement of uh, typical controlling devices like barn doors, light grids, and the ability to pop on a soft box if you need even further diffusion. Uh, of course, because the light is LED, it runs fairly cool, but it does have an active cooling element with a fan attached to the uh, uh, unit's power supply, uh, so it can self-regulate if it needs to. Now, rather than stand here and rattle off a list of photometrics to you guys and just kind of go over the uh, specifications, I thought it might be nice for you to actually see what the character of the light is in use, especially with some skin tones. Now, please bear in mind that upcoming footage here is very not scientific. Uh, and this is not a rigorous test by any stretch of the imagination, but still a very good indication of what the light can do uh, in practice. 
Uh, so the setup here will be about 10 foot from the talent. Uh, and just as a note to anyone who uh, cares to know the technical specs, I am shooting on a Canon C300 Mark II uh, at about f4, and we're using the wide DR gamma, so no log modes here showing you uh, the full dynamic range. But uh, it, again, a good indicator of where this light stands in terms of uh, darkest to brightest values and just what some of those gels look like. Hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you on the next video.